Y'all ready? Yeah! Here we go! Ah! The ham cannon. No, it's a can cannon, Houston. It doesn't shoot hams. I told you this, it's, a, it's called a can cannon. I brought this from Michigan. I, I told you multiple times, I don't know why you did that. Okay, well, waste of a ham then. The can cannon. It's a rifle that shoots cans. Now these bad boys are a lot of fun to shoot at random objects, but I personally have been curious to know just how much damage they can cause to a person. And more importantly, what is the most dangerous projectile that can be shot out of them? To answer these questions, I flew back down to Kentucky to have my good friend Scott from Kentucky Ballistics help me out. How's it going, Scott? Ah! I'm doing okay. Why are you always shooting watermelons? You know, I'm paying a therapist a lot of money right now to try and figure that out, but I, I can't really tell you right now. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't didn't realize it was going to be that dark of an answer. Um, all right, so a can cannon can definitely destroy a watermelon, but uh, how about you explain to the audience, maybe if they don't know what can cannons are, just explain a little bit more about them. Yeah, sure. So. These are can cannons. These are made by X Products. Uh, there is a 308 version and a 556 version. They both shoot blanks, which is basically just a um, brass casing with gunpowder that's crimped. There's no bullet in it or anything like that. It's just meant to create pressure and then it shoots the can out of the end, which the 308 shoots a little harder than the 556, mm -hmm. um, but they're pretty similar. Okay, okay, so this is what I'm thinking. You know, I want to combine your shooting ability with my ability to get shot. Okay. So that we can educate the masses and just on how dangerous these things are if you happen to get shot. Sure, yeah. So my plan is kind of like this. I got a lot of different projectiles that we can stuff into these can cannons. All right. And I think what we'll do is we'll just start from the ones that we think are going to be the least dangerous. Okay. And we'll end with what we think is the most dangerous. I think it sounds like a plan. I think we're about to gain a lot of knowledge. Yeah, I'm really excited about learning right now. <laughs> me too. I just, learning gets me so excited and erect with knowledge. Cool, I'm gonna go get some knowledge over here away from you, okay? I'll see you later. It, it, it wasn't weird. All right, up first, we're gonna cram a tomato inside the can cannon. How do you feel about that? Feel pretty good. In fact, I even have a good joke before I get shot here. Oh yeah? Yeah. What happens when you witness a shipwreck? I don't know what. You let it sink in. Wait a second, that was a lot worse than I expected it to be. Dude, this is oh. hard. Dude, that thing stayed together really well. <laughs> what do they make potatoes out of in Kentucky? That's a tomato, not yeah. a potato. That's a tomato. A potato would have hurt way worse. I know. Oh, I know you know, right? You know that. Oh, oh gosh, there was dirt in that. How about we look at the, to see what the tomato did? I'm really curious to... Hit me up. <laughs> Dude, that looks like you did as much damage as a freaking less lethal shotgun shell. <laughs> this is what they need to be using in riots, just firing tomatoes. tomatoes. <laughs> I'll be honest, I was, uh, this was supposed to be a joke one. Yeah. You know, like that funny. That wasn't supposed to funny, uh, be so effective. Uh, yeah, it, it uh, didn't feel good. But not bad. Yeah, that's so not bad at I'm all. I'm thinking uh, we escalate. Okay, I'm kind of scared, but I, the tomato was pretty intense. You may be scared, but the knowledge excites me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, up next, uh, we're gonna use an orange. An yeah. orange? Uh -huh. Aren't you glad I didn't say tomato? Are they supposed to taste like that? Yeah, yeah. You didn't, you didn't laugh at my joke. Are you ready, Houston? You know, some say I was born ready. Not me, though. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I feel like you broke up a little bit. Ugh. 
Uh, you I, it hit me in the upper <laughs> back region. <laughs> I, I was aiming here. I was aiming right there. Uh, <laughs> I hit the back of the neck. It was, I'm so sorry. I'm not blaming you. I mean, there's there's like a, at least a five mile, mile hour wind rolling through here. So. Well, for the record, that wasn't a perfectly round orange. I had to like really hack at it to get it to fit. So it wasn't very aerodynamic. I was, it hit about, uh, <laughs> it hit about 10 inches high and to the left. I was aiming here. If I would have aimed where I was aiming before, probably would have actually hit you in the lat. It's fine. I gained a lot of knowledge from that. What I gained is this. You know, the orange had some more mass behind it, it felt like, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. But uh, that tomato, I think the tomato hurts worse. I feel like the tomato like had way more velocity. Yeah, it's shooting way faster. Mm -hmm. And then it had some weird solid core in it. Yep. I, I mean, I'm gonna say if you had the option to shoot somewhere at something, uh, use a tomato over an orange. Yeah, and if you're really sick and you need some vitamin C injected into your bloodstream really fast, it's the way to go. Just you're so healthy right now. You're gonna get. You're not gonna get sick for like months. You know what? I think I'm gonna go for a run. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh, so we're on to the next projectile. Uh, so Scott, what is everyone's least favorite candy? That'd be candy corn. You are right. <sighs> we're loaded up with candy corn. A bunch of candy corn. It could be bad. Could not be bad. I think right now it's gonna be really hard to top the tomato. Yeah, the tomato was impressive. That tomato was, but maybe, let's find out. Yep, and that's what I'm here for. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all ready? Yeah! Here we go! Ah! All right, that's the worst one so far. No, -uh. it just it is so much. Really, it's the quantity. It didn't look like that hurt at all. But then again, I'm not the one getting shot, so I don't know. Well, um, <laughs> I mean, we could. Nah, I got shot for real. I'm gonna let you do all this. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. Um, let's take a look. I don't know. Is that new? I think he's always had. He's that. just always had it. I uh, I don't know. Maybe it's gonna take some time for these to show through. Mm, yeah. Like, but just, so that would hurt pretty bad. Honestly, they're close. Tomato and candy corn, pretty close. Really. The orange is the weakest one so far. Really. I think it's because the candy corn had all the all the little pieces flying. Yeah. Well, they're pretty hard. It too. got me pretty low in the love handles. That's kind of like <laughs> my uh, you know tender spot. Yeah. If you will. Uh, from the looks of it, from back there, from shooting the the tomato, sounded the worst. And yeah, the, the, yeah. where the orange hit you, I thought was like, that was pretty bad. So yeah. I'm surprised to hear you say the candy corn was that bad. I have, think we have some other candy well, though. you're right, that's what I'm thinking. You know, maybe we can prove candy as a good projectile of can cannons with yeah. the next option. I'm pretty excited about the next option. <laughs> Me too. Oh, the next candy is loaded. What are we shooting, Scott? Big gum. <laughs> We're shooting double bubble. Double bubble, bubble balls. Bubble balls, it's like buckshot out of a can can. I want to chew them all up and make one big slug. No, 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 it's, no. it's fine. In fact, you can spit that out. Can you speak now? Yes. Okay, let's get shot. I'm gonna try not to let these spill out beforehand. All right, you ready? Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That was a direct hit. Direct hit into my neck? No, I hit you all through here. Okay. All through there. But why did, when I pulled off my helmet, a gumball fell out? I'm a really good shot, I guess. <laughs> it's a trick shot? <laughs> <laughs> that was a trick shot. I will say the, the gumballs, uh, you know, hit me in the upper neck, didn't feel good, but it wasn't bad. Yeah. No, your neck has got... What? <laughs> what? Oh my what God. do you... You got chicken pox. <laughs> Bro, okay, uh, I mean, I don't know exactly what you felt, but uh, judging from your skin, looks like the gumballs did more than the candy corn. Okay, well, uh, write that down, Jake. I'm on it. Write that down, write that down! It's a really interesting way to 
give out candy on a Halloween. Wait, you should have have trick, you can give trick, you can give those trick or treaters candy from you know like a whole neighborhood across. Just, just fire it over the trees. You want some gumballs over there? <laughs> Tis the season. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't, please don't do that. Uh, no, you know, idea. we're responsible people. Okay. We're all about safety. Uh, don't shoot kids with candy out of a can cannon. Only Houston's. Yes? So we're on to our next projectile. And as it turns out, Scott also has a golf ball cannon. But before I get shot, I figured we should at least see what it can do. So we got a skull over there. So I'll yeah. You know, we'll witness what happens. Let's take a whack at it. Yes. Yeah. You ready? There yeah. we go. Ah! I think the golf ball's in there. So I got another golf video I'm gonna do, so I don't think we actually need to do this. We can probably just skip past this one. Um. Right? I, I My mean, lawyer would probably tell me you had to skip on that one. Yeah, so what, uh, we're going on to tennis balls. Tennis balls. <laughs> so uh, I'm thinking this, you shoot the tennis ball at my back. Okay. And you know, I'm gonna even offer up a deal here. I won't even react when you shoot me in the back with this tennis ball. Really? And you know what that means? Everyone's gotta like the video. Possibly share and to cement this deal, I will shake Scott's hand. That's your hand, viewer. Just. This is your hand. Scott's hand is your pretend hand shaking my hand. Your hand shaking Houston's hand that doesn't get washed after using the bathroom. Exactly. I'd never wash my hands. I'm a dirty man. <laughs> Are you ready, Houston? Yeah! All right, here we go. Four. He didn't make a noise. Hey, you served that right back at me. It bounced right back at me, I could have caught it. Take a step closer, do it again, Scott. All right, four. <laughs> dude, dude, I know that hurts. He is a man of his word, though. I would be screaming. A deal's a deal. <laughs> Back to your voice. A deal's a deal. <laughs> Good job. Thank you, thank you. Um, um, how's it look? <laughs> it, uh, it, uh, it's definitely left some marks, for sure. <laughs> Those tennis balls are coming out hard. But I think that is good data. Yeah. Now, if I was gonna, you know, rank what we've shot at me so far, I'm definitely gonna have to say the tennis ball hurt the worst. I was gonna say, how does that compare to the tomato? Uh, I mean, yeah, the tomato's like the, that close second. Yeah. And then, then tennis ball definitely is above it though. It just has a little bit more. So bit more tennis color. ball, tomato, candy corn? Candy corn. Uh, the gumballs weren't, uh, orange. Gumballs. Or, yeah, orange was pretty gnarly also. Yeah, so I think gumballs are at the lowest. That's, uh, you know, the ranking so far, but, uh, <laughs> It's time to get to the exciting stuff. We haven't been doing that yet. <laughs> well, the real exciting stuff, because what is a can cannon meant to shoot? Cans! Let's get shot with cans. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, this is gonna be bad. So explain to me, Scott, why I'm wearing the safety vest now. Well, first of all, still has your blood in it from the last time. Yes, yes. Uh, which you still need to autograph for me. And second of all, we are putting that on you because we are moving on to actual cans. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we want to make sure that you don't get hit with a can. In the, like, ribs, in the ribs or anything vital. Yeah, now, I don't think it would kill you, but it would really hurt, probably break a rib. It would be good data, but it's data that I don't think I want to nah, show I need, everyone. I don't need that data. Yeah, we don't need that data. Uh, now I see we got the, the cinder block safety measure in place. Yeah. I'm gonna be getting shot in the leg. Now this is here, uh, like last time, to protect my knee. Right. So Supposed there should be protect his knee. no chance of my knee getting hit. Yep. Yep. Shouldn't shouldn't hit your knee at all. Uh, I mean, I think that's pretty pretty solid. There's no chance that it would hit your knee ever, really. Didn't we say that last time? Uh, you, uh, you're gonna be standing over there next to some cinder blocks mm -hmm. uh, that we have set up to protect Houston's knee. 
I don't know. I don't. I, I don't remember that. All right, Houston, break a leg, buddy. Deal. Here we go. Ah! Did that hit you? No, it just beat me. It just. <laughs> you just made me moist. Uh, I have that effect on people. Oh. <laughs> Take two. Uh, break another leg. Here we go. Oh, dead on. Bro, bro. Look at his kid. It's missing the top. <laughs> Dude, why are you laughing? Can't you see I'm, I'm suffering over here? That's why it's so funny. You, you're really tough, so you're not talking. I know that hurt really bad. And I have never seen a can lose its top like that. It's just because you haven't shot an object as solid as me. Dude, that was a solid hit. Yeah, it was a... I get you right there. Yeah. But yeah, let's uh, take a look at the, the data. Uh, and as you can tell, throughout the course of this video, I've been wearing some denim. And as you guys know, I have glorious legs, so I never hide them. But I did in this video for a particular reason, because as you saw, the can shattered, right? And uh, I didn't want to get cut and uh, to be bleeding all over Scott's beautiful range. All right, I didn't want to get blood on your range. I really appreciate it. Yep, I'm a gentleman. Uh, always remember that. But let's take a look and see what we got here, huh? I don't think we could have <sighs> hit you any more solid. Oh, dude. That's a interesting looking bruise. So would you say this is good data? Yeah, I feel like the can hit you sideways. The way that looks. I mean, would you say? Instead of there being, I feel like. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, I I, I, uh, yeah, I would concur, uh, indubitably. Indeed. Uh, indeed. Indeed. Uh, it does uh, look like a, a long a, bruise. A long, it's a, yeah, it's a very large bruise. Uh, uh, What's interesting to me is normally when those hit things, they just absolutely explode. But because your leg provided so much cushion, it really didn't just burst it more just like transferred energy into your leg. You're, of, saying my, you're saying my legs are fat. No, meat. You called me fat. Grade A prime beef, not fat, not even gristle. It absorbed it all. Yeah. I have so much gristle. <laughs> <laughs> We're on to the last projectile. What do we got, Scott? We have a tall boy here. Mm -hmm. That's a little bit bigger than the uh, Coke can. So. My prediction is this is gonna tumble again and you're gonna get smacked sideways, sideways. with it. Okay, well. If we manage to get like a torpedo hit on your leg, I'll be really curious to uh, see the data. The data, yes. I, I also would be curious of the data. <laughs> so how about we figure out what the data shows? Well, according to this can, it's gonna be ruthless. Don't, don't read the can. Stop reading the can. I just guessed it. I can't read, so. Oh. Okie dokie. Uh, don't even fit all the way in the can <laughs> cannon. That's a good sign. That's a good sign? Yeah. All right. Here we go. Here comes some severed lime. <laughs> <laughs> It did the same thing. <laughs> Dude, it popped the top on it just like the other one. It's because I, I willed that to happen. Severed lime, literally. Liquid severed death. Lime. I felt very like Deathy. solid death. <laughs> solid death is what I would, would call Dude, this. That was, these tall cans, a lot of times they explode before they even make it out of the can can. And so uh, you really lucked out there like just Getting it on the first try, right in the leg. Lucked out? You did, I was lucky. We would have been out here, we'd run out of cans probably. Is this what I'm thinking though? I need to know the data. No, before we show the data, that can didn't fit solidly. So we have another can. 
Okay. Another tall boy. It's a monster. I'm pretty sure they fit pretty snug. So I'm thinking, how about we? You want to? You want to take another one? I'll take another one. Give me one more. Sir, yes, sir. Last can. Yep, it's a monster can. You know, will it be monstrous damage? I don't know. That's what we're here to find out. I love science. Me too. Did that sound enthusiastic? Okay. Here we go. Nailed it! Oh. <laughs> I mean... Ugh. I was a little high pitch on that. That was good. Yeah, that uh, that one uh, kind of clipped you about right there. A little bit of a hammy, a little yeah, bit of hammy. Yeah, some of that ham. I don't think I've ever seen a can look like that before. That's pretty wild. Well, uh, let's see if the damage is wild. Uh. Oh! Oh, okay, yeah, that, uh, that's probably the worst one. Mm-hmm, but it probably doesn't help that it hit a about in the same spot as the other one. So you've got... Is it just me or is my leg quivering? It is quivering, yep. Uh, is there a reason? That's that Kyle-approved white monster energy drink. Oh! <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, it hits different. It definitely did hit um, different. It did hit different because you got hit with the actual end of the can, it looks like. I don't oh. think that one hit you sideways. You're saying I got truly canned. Yeah, truly. Truly canned. Truly, it wasn't a truly though, it was a monster. Uh, yes, yes. Um, well, let's review the data uh, of everything that happened here. Hmm? Sounds good. All right. I concur. Uh, indubitably. Indeed. Scott, I'm gonna have you walk them through what's on my back here. All right, well, we had the tomato and it was somewhere in here. And also it managed to hit him in the tricep. Pretty effective. Uh, I agree. Lots of lots of data from that one. The orange actually kind of split in two also. We hit him up here and then somewhere in the lower back. Mm -hmm. Next, I believe, was the candy corn. Yes. Candy corn was actually really effective. Uh, you don't have many marks left, but you did have lots of visible uh, triangle marks on your yes. lower back. Yes, kind of faded away. And that away. one stung pretty mm -hmm. good. Then there was gumballs. That was pretty effective too. We hit you more up here. You actually still have some nice. gumball marks on your neck. Nice, I'm happy to have data still present. Yes. Then we had the tennis balls, which were really effective and pretty accurate. And you took two of those without making a peep. It's true, I didn't make a peep. Uh, didn't make a sound. If anything, I made a negative peep. Yeah, uh -huh. I actually got quieter it's when you got hit. It was yeah. weird. You know, we yep. kind of broke the laws of physics and science itself, yep. but uh, I will agree those did hurt pretty bad. Uh, honestly, they hurt the worst out of anything that got shot on my back. The texture of them, I feel like is what, like it just it's chewed into in your skin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But ultimately, the, the crowning achievement of this video was the cans that we shot. Yes, uh, and you definitely <laughs> took, took some cans. Uh, mm -hmm. Yep, that's... Uh, I uh, kind of took two in this area. It looks like you have a shooting star on your leg. <laughs> like, here's the fiery ball and there's the tail. <laughs> yeah, it's like a meteor coming yeah, out. Yeah, it's like a meteor. That's, that's, it's an artistic piece. You yeah, man, I'm an artist. Uh, and then I think down here was the liquid death. Yeah, it was somewhere in there. Um, but this was the Coke and the Monster Energy Drink. Mm -hmm. Good grouping on that. I'm really impressed by your aim. I appreciate that. Uh, we'll check back in in a couple days and then I'll give my final review on can cannons and what is the most dangerous projectile to shoot out of them. Subscribe to Scott. He's a good guy. Do it! Just do it! 
It's damage review time. That's right, now that I'm back in my cold and rainy home state of Michigan, it's time to show you all the data my body collected from being shot with a can cannon. First, let's start with my back. The picture you're seeing right now was taken three days after the experiment, and as you can see, there really isn't any lasting damage on my back. While getting shot in the back is definitely a lot more painful than getting shot in a place like the legs, it's definitely a lot harder to bruise, which is something we found out in a previous video where I attempted to make the world's largest bruise. Now it's possible the tomato or the tennis balls could have left a bruise if I got shot somewhere like the legs by them, but ultimately I feel like most people could get shot anywhere in the body with any of those projectiles that hit my back and not suffer too severe of injuries. Now the same cannot be said about the cans because three days later, I had a massive bruise on my leg and the bruise is still there seven days later. Also at one point, the swelling got so bad on my leg that I could physically grab it like it was a ball, which I found to be pretty impressive. And I think it's safe to say that the cans could probably break some bones if they hit a person in the wrong spot because honestly, there's a lot of weight traveling behind those bad boys. I mean, I sure felt the weight behind them. So yeah, in this particular experiment, cans were the most dangerous and damaging thing to be shot out of the can cannon. <laughs> Who could have guessed? With that all being said, I wanted to mention that I approach this video with a lot more caution than I do with a lot of my experiments. That was mostly because both Scott and I had no idea what the can cannon would do to me, and we wanted to prevent the worst case scenario of me having to make a hospital trip. But after being shot with a smaller can cannon, I think further testing can be safely done with different projectiles in the larger 308 Mega Can Cannon, which we didn't use in this video, but I am awfully curious to know what it does. Like, I don't know why, I'm strangely curious about it now. So let me know down in the comments if that's something you are also interested in seeing. Lastly, be sure you subscribe to Kentucky Ballistics. A link to his channel will be down in the description below. And make sure you got post notifications turned on because I got one more video that I filmed with Scott coming out next week. And oh boy, it's a bloody one. Like, really bloody.